Hello, welcome to another Flophouse Funsies, and you probably can't tell by looking at this really dynamic screen, but we are playing Nina Williams' uh, Death by Degrees. Big request for years. I've never actually sat down and played this one uh, with a controller in my hand. I watched a friend of mine, like, like a decade ago, play it when the game was out. I think this came out around the time that Tekken 5 was about to release, I think. Um, so somewhere around then. And I was just like, yeah, that seems kind of cool. And then I just never played it. And then I just everyone's been shitting on it for years. And like even Tenobu Itagaki fucking shit on it. That's crazy. He never shits on anything. Anyway, uh, we're going to see how this is going to go. I know this game is really bad. I know that. I never quite... Like, I don't remember why. I'm not sure if it's to do with the controls or just the... I, I don't know why. I really don't. So I'm very interested in new game. Godzilla. This is Godzilla. 5th, 1945. Weather conditions. Steve Bloom again. Ooh, I've been for to Fort Lauderdale. The departed from the U.S. Naval Air Station Fort Lauderdale on a routine training flight and headed east. Over this is, is, is Gojira is in there. That's what they're going for. All contact with Flight 19 was lost. I told you! Okay, that was just a weird, like, deep-sea fangly fish. The Bermuda Archipelago and the island of Puerto Rico. Oh, God, this is so trying to be MGS. Just in Florida. The Devil's Sea. Twelve of these mysterious regions purportedly exist. What? Twelve? Like, fucked up places in the ocean? Okay, I'll believe that. Then again, I am an idiot. Arsenal gear. <laughs> Alrighty, this game's awesome. That voice acting was terrible, I like it. I mean, the idea of this, a character action adventure game starring a Tekken character, is, is it's a good idea. Just because they'll, they'll have really nice FMVs and depending on the character you pick. And Nina's fine. Nina's just as good as anybody else to have a game made about them. What is this? <laughs> Maybe this is one of those things where this game came out back then and it was bad. But now it's like, it's really bad, so therefore it's awesome. Is this like a mutant? Or like a jack bot? Get the hell out of my way. That's Steve Bloom again. Okay, this is a new character. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Oh, slick transition. I thought it was Craig Marduk for a second. No, it's Nina. Oh, this would be a good introductory fight sequence. To get you the controls. I'm Alan from MI6. Dun 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 dun. Joint operation between the CIA and MI6. That never goes well. We'll infiltrate the Amphitrite, a Glafira Corporation cruise ship and execute a video recon of a meeting held by high-ranking members of a certain organization. Certain organization. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, we're getting sweaty! Okay, what type of fight is it, Nina, fighting like five dudes? That's a cool costume. Our team consists of two sneakers and one sweeper. Spies versus mercs. will attempt to infiltrate through the port side deck. Get those fingerprints. You never know. You never know. I'd personally like to just take their eyeballs for retinal scans, but that's just me. Not quite law. It's like a law ripoff. Oh, he's been kind of generally fine with Nina. She's not crackling with personality. She's not supposed to be. But she has a cool enough design. She's just like an evil Sarah Bryant. 
You will enter the underground fighting tournament being Ooh, that's exotic. And hide yourself and await further orders. Upon mission completion, we'll rendezvous and make our exit. Okay, so what's the point of Nina then? If she's just doing the tournament. We won't need your help. But if the time comes, we'll be counting on Okay. Super. <laughs> that guy. It's James Bond ripoff. John Bond. Nice. Oh, x-rays! When his heart exploded? Ray murdered her! I mean, he murdered him! I mean, she murdered him! Ooh, who that? She's like, yeah, that's right! And Death by Degrees is a fucking money name, man. Like any Jean Claude or, or Steven Seagal movie could have been called that. It's always better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Why is she wearing high heels suddenly? Why would you be wearing high heels? The fuck? Oh! I hate when you go to an all-inclusive resort and they just have random battles start. Okay, is this gonna be my tutorial fight? I guess so. To attack? Oh no. Now I see. It's a stick-based fighting game. Try attacking the direction shown by the arrow. Oh no. To guard, tap R towards the enemy. Quick tap the same stick as attack? No. Quick tap to evade in that direction. Try evade in the direction. Oh, you have to flick the sticks. You can't even, you can't just press them normally. Who, who, I know why you're bad now, the game. I know why you're bad. Oh, why would you do this? Now I see. Okay. How do you block? Like you're a, you're a fighting game franchise. Why did you just use the buttons on the controllers? Damn. Oh my God! Who's that? Create a character. All these jobbers. She's the champion from last night. What the? Hmm. This one's got some fire in her. She won't be easy to tame. No. I'll convert her. Ay, you gonna mess with this one too? Kill last Emma. Take her. Put her in a room. I always. I was staying in a Let's room. Go. What was the point of this fight? That guy's got six guns. Is it really necessary? Well, this motherfucker trying to be Revolver Ocelot. Just beat them up! Okay. Get in. No Get thanks. Clothes. No. I mean, you'll give me my clothes. I want to wear a cool purple Nina outfit. Okay, that's cool too. It's like Blood Rain. Oh, this, this doesn't look very good. I'm really, really angry. <laughs> I'm so fucking angry. Let's just go back in here and pick this up. Water. Bottled water restores a small amount of focus. Entered into the database. Well, that's an impressive mirror effect, I've always said. So, circle is run. Triangle does nothing. Square brings up the menu. I'm in the cruise ship amphitheater. What is this supposed to be? Am I looking over my own head? What viewpoint is this? Oh. I guess it's because of the place I was just standing. But it has a behind the back thing for some reason. Oh lord. Jeez, Harada. Why? Well, this is a nice room. I'll give it that. 
What? It just appears? Okay. So one thing about this game that really intrigues me is like the whole, I want to say, phenomenon of female-led MGS or Splinter Cell like rip-off games that permeated consoles for like like five years. Holy shit. Um, so anyway, there's there was like, there was this, there was Rogue Ops, there was Velvet Assassin, there was Aeon Flux, there was Dark Angel. Uh, there's a couple more. Wow, Nina, you don't give a fucky. Hey, babe, babe, does Nina talk or? What about John? Finally. They've locked me up. <laughs> are you wearing something sexy nina i sure hope you are okay so yeah for an over the shoulder view so that would be fine if this was like a game with like a uh, guns which i assume there is at some point man this sea does not look great i know it's a ps2 game but i feel like i've seen games that do better can i break these that would be fun no i can't do shit okay cool uh, you can jump down with fly boats, yeah. Drop down anyway? Yes, why would I say no? Why did she put on the sexiest thing ever? Like, it's not really the sexiest thing ever. This weird, this weird puss flaps in the front and the ass flaps in the back. It's not a great dress. Crime Chino would be screaming. Whoa, okay, that was an automatic Zelda jump. Let's just keep going on these lifeboats. At least this is, like, it doesn't have bad platforming. It's just all automatic, so... It's hard to fuck it up. And the fixed camera angles are, are very strange to me. I don't know. I think maybe an overhead, like, MGS-style camera might have been the better choice. What? This is the top of the... of this cruise ship? Really? Williams, do you read me? No, who are you? I'm by the pool now. <laughs> That's where I was before. It's the same music track each time. I like it. Typical cruise ship, is it? This is their satellite base. A lot of royalty free wind sound effects in the background. Any civilians? None, just them. But you've been staying on this boat, Nina. Don't do anything rash. Your reputation precedes you. Don't use your Aikido skills. So, what do you need me to do? Yeah, no, it's a bad dress. In order to complete the mission, we need to retrieve John's GPS device. It'll enable us to locate our targets. But first, I need you to locate John. A GPS device? I'll send you a map of the ship's layout. You can You think she would have gotten that the, the moment she got on this boat. I'm counting on you. Oh, okay. There's there's the map. Oh shit, there's four goddamn floors. Sure wish I could turn the camera, but I can't cuz the stick that you use for the camera is used for kicking highly. Now, I know there's like one or two games that like also did all stick combat. One of them is like Rise to Honor, a Jet Li game, which I want to play at some point because I heard that the game's actually not that bad or like not amazing or whatever, but. What was it? Submission holds. I want to try that. <laughs> it just disappeared. It's so bad. Alright, is there a save point at the bar? I could use it. If I'm playing fucking Death by Degrees, I guess. Oh, what's that? Yeah, yeah, evil box. You work for Nina now. Okay, X is to pick stuff up, at least. A small military issue meal kit. Why would this be in the back of this place? What is this? Is this like a Resident Evil thing? What the fuck? There's a print scanner set up. Start fingerprint authorization. Sure, let's see if this works. Access denied! So I guess the entire game is on this ship. This isn't just like the tanker episode of MGS2. There's this big, there's the CIA has beamed down a save location for me, Nina Williams. All right, I fully saved the game. I mean, just run around in my skimpy underwear until I see something else I can do, I guess. All I know is you need to steal John's Blackberry or whatever. Yeah, I get my dress well, I don't give a shit. 
I fight better when I'm wetter. Oh, I didn't think this was gonna be a thing. This is where she completes her air gauge. You and the air gauge is completely air gauge. It's in first person. Oh no, I pressed square because I thought it was a cool button, but it's not. Oh ah. This pool is so elaborate and dangerous. What if regular people came here to relax and they find all those secret areas and shit? All right, let me let me get some air. Oh man, it does that every time, huh? And you guys, Itagaki always made fun of this game because he's like, I make cool Ninja Gaiden games. Well, one really. I don't know. Is Ninja Gaiden two considered bad? Like, I know he didn't make Ninja Gaiden 3, so doesn't, um, that's not part of the conversation. But he's like, I make really good action games and really good fighting games. And up until that point, it's a little debatable, but, you know, whatever. Let's try to go through here. And steal that GPS or whatever we're doing. Oh, hello. Press R1 to execute chokehold. Chokehold. Whoa, I choked him. Why couldn't I choke that guy? So I, I kind of did the block there. So I guess you just have to time it well, but it's still so awkward for it, for it, your your defense and your offense to be on the same button. I mean, I guess it's kind of working, but it's still strange. All right, you're all dead, I guess. Now I just sashay. Away. And then there's Psy Girls too. Psy Girls is a really cool like cyberspace stealth action game made by Konami that used the MGS2 engine. That one's quite impressive. What's this? It's another protein bar. Meal kit. Okay. Oh, I've triggered something. I kill that sniper. I was just gonna flick the sticks around this thing and hopefully everyone will die. I have the high ground anyway. I'll throw you. I can't, throws don't work here. But Nina goes up things at her own pace. There you go. No, he needs, okay, no, he's dead. Man, fighting is so fucking bad. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot him. There's Alan, doing his cool Alan shit. Camera's very sensitive. Oh shit, I'm getting shot at. Did I get him? I got him. The state of your sniping! You you can never seem to last longer. Dude, that's your problem, not mine. Oh no, it's clear. No, we're clear. Thanks. You're pretty good. She doesn't say much, does she? Uh okay, let's just throw that. We don't need that sniper rifle. All right, let's go down and check out British man, I guess. What's this? That's a very big shine, sir. No, no. No, I said this. What am I doing? I just got the crank handle. Creaky, creaky. All right, so I could use that to get into that atrium bullshit. I guess I have to, because I can't really seem to go down, so. is Are there civilians on this? thing because there were lots of people watching in the crowd from the fight I had last night but there seems to be like there's no civilians or all the civilians criminal I don't fucking know. Sighted. Nope. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye bye. Can't fight me. Bye. I was gonna leave. I don't want I don't want nothing to do with this. Bye. Oh my god that worked. There's a lady in evening wear kicking all of our asses. Cool. 
Ooh! Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. I never tried this elevator. You know what? No, I went the other way. And we got into that hexagon thing. So, since I got that, I'm gonna go back there. Now, is it gonna be the type of game where I can just press X and she'll just slot the thing in? Or I have to select it from a menu? It's always interesting to find out. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Sure. I'm rotating the sticks, everybody. Ooh, watch out now. Okay, so now we're in the dreaded atrium. Uh, I don't know what we're doing here exactly. Press X while under the pipe to hang from pipe. For pipe. <laughs> you don't look bumbling at all, Nina. Don't worry. Nobody's, nobody's watching. We're just now in the glorious atrium. Is this anything, this stuff? There's a discarded dry suit. John must have left it here. I need his GPS. Infrared goggles, that's cool. Where's his GPS at? Oh, big file folder he just left there. Oh, he left the manual for my infrared goggles because I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, all right, let's go down and see what fun the atrium has for us. Dun, 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 dun. Thanks. Is this a trap room? Is this trap room with the titties? Infrared goggles equipped. Oh shit. Oh damn, yo. Look at that, that's crazy. Uh oh. Spaghetti -o. <laughs> I'm fucking dead after one shot. I guess. <laughs> I'm not even mad. Yeah. At least she auto equips and removes them and shit. It's pretty. It's pretty. Uh. It's, it's taking care of my time, because I don't want to waste it. The fingerprint authorization? Yeah, I don't have any fingerprints, but I keep doing it regardless. Sorry, is there some sort of mechanic where I need to steal dudes' fingerprints? And I'm not being told about it? Did you hear that? No. The intruder. No, I'm running away from you. Oh, shit! Oh, I'm dead. No, I can't use the elevator. I'm too stupid. I don't have fingerprints. Yeah, it works every time. Ah, uh, nice and quiet. Anything here? I don't know. I'm just going wherever. Wherever the game like leads me to. I, I gotta steal John's GPS. That's all I know. It's not good where I want to run from battles. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. See you later, fuckers! Oh, maybe not. Okay, no, maybe so! Maybe this. Looks like a search conveyor belt. Yes, absolutely, why not? Give me the key. Yeah. What the hell? Uh, scans and stores fingerprints, finally! Have you found anything? A print scanner. That's John's. That'll enable you to get past Why was it on the conveyor belt? I suppose I'll need some volunteers to obtain some prints. <laughs> so yeah, can I steal your fingerprints, sir? Use print scanner, yes. Yeah, it's his fingerprint, even though he's wearing gloves. Oh shit, they're coming. She's too fast, sir! Dana. And play the piano! 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 There it is, go lock the keyboard! Is that a. Is that technically called a keyboard? I don't know. There's a print scanner set up. Start it? It's gonna be like, no. Okay. Each locker displays a name and ID tag in order to open, then the prints from each locker's owner are needed. Well, I really wish you would 
show me which numbers are which so I don't have to press every single fucking one. And eh. oh wow. Gimme. Give Gimme give your shit. It's mine now. Crane mask capacity. You had a katana, huh? Okay, there's so there's just a a poster for Julia Chang, which is cool, I guess. Is she in a movie? I don't know. Why can't I go in the restaurant? There you go. Ocean Blue Cafe, I love it. No, don't come in here, this is me. This is me, how I like to be. Just kick you through the window. Nina Williams, remember the name? I have 30 skill points, how many you guys got? None? Cool. Yeah, Bone Breaker. Just give me a second. Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, pick up this mail kit. I don't know, get this baby powder too, why not? A cocktail shaker, there's a faint print on it. I don't know, it kind of looks like Undertaker's urn to me. Okay, good. Thank God. Oh, I should have killed him with the blender. It's a piece of rat meat. It appears to be a food source on board the ship. Wait, no, it's a piece of paper? Rat cuisine. Now it's gonna tell me about the rat cuisine against my... Edible rat meat, balsamic vinegar, soy sauce, minced garlic, herbs, butter, serves four. What's this? Is blood. Like her character model doesn't even look amazing. Like in Tekken 5, it looked better. I wonder where they had the body. I better have the, the, the finger authority to use it. The gun is good. It's 3RB handgun. So now I have gun. Very good. Now I have gun when I like. What the shit? Yeah, wasn't there mutants before? These are very large carcasses. Wasn't there... Wasn't there the opening movie had the, had a monster? I couldn't tell. So let's follow this blood trail. Did we finally find John? I can't tell. Yeah, that's the bad tattoo. Wait, did I kill him? I I've located John. Nice, I think. I'm afraid so. He's stone cold dead. What about the GPS device? He doesn't seem to have it. He has two big shines on him. You looking for this? Oh, are we gonna have a boss fight? Wow! Oh, that was an escalation. Never thought you'd fall for it. Why are you holding your guns like that, sir? It's stupid. All right, I don't know what button I would need to press to shoot my gun. Is it the stick? Oh. Oh my, this sucks. Yeah, Tonfa. No, I'm not allowed? Okay. At least I'm juggling him. Okay, well that, that did some damage, I guess. Okay, okay. Okay. I wish he took more than like, little pittance of damage. The skills, what's like L1, then left stick, then R1, and like, no. Absolutely not. Can I not just increase my damage? Wait, did I just kill him? Why did one kick suddenly do it? What just happened? Oh. Okay. okay. So that was horrible. Oh, I noticed that when you're low on health, uh, Nina's costume gets all shredded up because of course it does. Or, or I lost. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay. Move your ass, or I'm gonna trash your precious toy. Why don't you just trash it now? Yeah, yeah, right. He went this way. No, I can't. Wow, that was exciting. 
something? Why does the music stop like this every three seconds? It's so awkward. Oh shit, I gotta do this again. Okay. Fucking no. So that was oh, whoo, Tekken's Nina Williams in Death by Degrees. It's really bad. Like, it's not even just bad, like, in terms of uh, its controls. And it's just also kind of just boring. Like, it's, it's just got no personality. It's just devoid. Like, why can't it be Nina having really action-packed, like, levels in different parts of the world with a fighting tournament thrown in and just, like, you don't really learn anything about her. She barely says anything. This, this was not good. Project Nina. Like, will the project go back to the fucking drawing board? No wonder they never, like, went back to do something like this again. This... This, this was a not very good time had by few. Um, if you guys know of any other weird PS2 action games that are bad or hopefully some good ones, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time, everybody.